Hi everyone, this is a quick video about a USB charger I made for my camera batteries. This is the NB13L which is designed for the Canon G7X and probably some other cameras as well. And the charger that it comes with is this one, it's an AC charger so it has to plug into the wall. And I need a USB charger. Now I could order it online and it's not that expensive, but I needed one today. So what I did was I took an old power bank, this was like 99 pesos from CDR King. I took the charge board out of it and basically just put a couple of screws through to make the terminals. So you can see the two screw heads poking through there. I did file them down so they're not sharp. And I didn't solder the wires because I had a problem soldering to these screws. So I just wrapped them around the screws and then hot glued it all in place. And it's pretty simple to use. You just line the contacts up on the battery and that's it, plug in your USB charger. Now you might be thinking, well, that's not gonna hold, that's just gonna fall off. Well, for that, I just use a simple hair tie. <laughs> this is super basic and this isn't a long-term thing. I just needed it today. Um, so yeah, I just threw it together very quickly. Let me set it up and show you. So this is how it looks with the hairband in place. It just basically holds it, stops it from moving around and makes sure there's pressure on the contacts. So let's plug in a micro USB cable. And there you go, the charge light is on. So now I can charge it from a power bank. So like I said, this is a very, very basic project. This is really not for long-term charging of batteries, but it will get you by if you really need a portable charger and you don't have time to order one online. Of course, this is just an ordinary lithium ion battery. Um, so it's really no different from the 18650 that this board was originally designed to charge. And yeah, it pretty much does the job. So if you have any questions, put it in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Oh, and for anyone who's curious how it looks with no battery attached, let me remove the hairband. And you can see the red light kind of flashes to indicate there's an error. And then once we connect it to the battery, let me try and do this. There you go, the light turns solid red. So just to show you, and that's why we use the hairband to keep constant contact or constant pressure on it. Thanks for watching.